And then the perfect darts to take out the 80. But he won't go away when he calls well. Scott refused to watch Craig's match in the preliminary round, beating Alan Sutar. Suits from Scotland and looking impressive as he did it. In fact, he watched a Bond film, he told me. While that was going on. Colwell continues to thunder in the big numbers. This match really will have earned their place in the second round. Sixty. Mitchell. This was a chance here because Caldwell no checkout. Average is reflecting that this is a good standard match. Probably the best that we've seen so far here at Lakeside. In this championship. Good checkout stats as well, particularly from Mitchell. And a good leg this from Mitchell. Three ton forties. One. So 81 then. Scott, to strike eight. against One. the throw. This would hurt Caldwell. 12 would leave Bull. Double 13 with that. Great game shot the second. Brilliant day. checkout again Scott from Mitchell. Mitchell. Caldwell blows out his cheeks and gives a little smile of recognition for some real quality throwing. Third leg, it's Scott to throw first. Game on. This is to take us into a deciding set. Really good darts from Scott Mitchell, the defending champion in that last leg. Good match this, Vassos. No question. 100. Mitchell, 8 doubles out of 11 73 percent checkout rate and they always say anything over 40 percent is pretty handy Caldwell's 43 82. Mitchell though terrific finishing and his best checkout of 161 the best of Lakeside 2016 85 One hundred. There he goes again. Number seven. Ryan, Scott's brother, watching on. Darts player himself. One hundred and thirty-five. A decent pair. Didn't want to draw them in the pub knockout, would you? Oh yes. Ninety-seven. Good last dart. Oh, what a good standard of darts this is. 170. He was a little bit unlucky with that last dart. He wanted Craig the 25. 142. Brilliant, though. But it's on. He went for treble 20, double 11. So now a treble 10, which he finds to pressure Scott, the 11. 11. Three double four for the set. Oh, Game wow. shot oh, finish finish What a astonishing Mitchell. finishing from Scott Mitchell. Four well, are into a deciding set, and everybody at Lakeside is delighted set, by that. First leg, they want more of this. All Caldwell could do was just raise his eyebrows. I don't think he's been hit by finishing like this too often. Nine out of 12, 75% Scott Mitchell's checkout stats. 135. It's indicative of how well Caldwell's throwing. That he's actually living with that and that it's still all square in sets two apiece caldwell's been hammering the big numbers Whoa, seven one eight is already and the averages are creeping ever higher this is like a a running race where the the pace just gets faster and faster and faster let's hope they end on a flat out sprint because the averages are going up the doubles are being found and Scott they're 
trading mighty blows. A 1 6 1 checkout, an 11 dart leg. Great, 16. great stuff. Best Scott's ever done in average terms. I know that stats don't really tell the full story, but in average terms, he's had a 96 here at Lakeside, and he's not too far off that. Caldwell, Whoa. newcomer to these championships. Well, he's a name to remember, isn't he? Averaging 95 in this match. And Caldwell. Just, he, I, I'm so impressed with the fact that he is just not raised by being up in front of this boisterous crowd, the heat of the lights, the television cameras. New experience, but he's really throwing very well. And against a popular opponent. 60. So he's got the majority of the crowd. Well, if not against him, then certainly with his opponent. And he's on a finish, Caldwell, 148, 41. although it's albeit a big Brain one, Mitchell not really putting the pressure on it as he would have wished, 160. What can Caldwell do here? Came through against Alan Souter in the preliminary round to set up this 60. match. Looked good there, and he's Scott Scott ranked Marlon, his standard up a level higher. Let's see what Scott can do. Well, he's taken out 161. He won't take out 160 at this stage. Just a reminder, in this set, if it reaches two legs all... 100. ...then either player has to win by two Brain clear legs until you get to five all when it goes to sudden death. Caldwell on 88. 18 would leave in the bullseye. That's double seven with the treble. 81. Great dart. Great dart. 60. To break the throw. Tops for Mitchell. It's the only one he's missed. 20. Well, his finishing has been quite brilliant. So what a moment for it to seven. let him down. Caldwell, seven. Looking at the bottom of the board for three. Now double two. That's not lying too well. Five. It was blocking the route in. What a good leg, and what an important leg. And what a big moment this is. Scott, you require 40. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. so from the first leg. Scott Mitchell. When we come to the end of the match, that may well be a moment you look back at and say that was where Scott Mitchell showed a real champion's resolve. Just paused, Second didn't he? Just Scott collected himself. Just Come remembered on. what he did to win the title here a year ago and just remembered what a good player he was and then produced the dart to back that up. 43. Well, he's not built on it, though. Uh, Caldwell jumps all over this. He might make the immediate riposte. Sixty, but he hasn't let off for Mitchell. We've not seen two shabby visits in a row from him. Often in this match, and there you go. Forty. Good darts. Needs a treble. One hundred. Just about hanging on in. Edging towards a finish, Scott Mitchell. He could do with another one called well, another treble 20. 100. It's a wild one. Mitchell trying to tighten his grip on this decisive set. That's a good dart. That is a really big dart. Ooh, and another one. 40. Is he scenting victory? Scott, you require so he 78. has six darts from 78 to move to within a leg of the match. 20 for double 20. 38.
I know quite a lot of farmers, Vassos, and they're not given to hurrying. And there's a measured look about Scott Mitchell, isn't there? Doesn't exactly rush up to the offer. Takes his time. It's all Scott very measured. And now this double 20 would put him 2 0 up. Game Great job for the second leg. Scott Mitchell. Well played, Scott Mitchell. His finishing has been the principal difference between him and Craig Caldwell. Well, they both had 17 darts at a double. Scott's hit 11 of them. Craig, just six. So, as you say, right there, that's the difference. A leg away from round two. And he knows that he'll have been in a battle. Caldwell's got other ideas. 140. He'll not lie down. What a time it would be for another 180. Kind of needs it. Kind of got it. Number eight. Six. Call well has left. No check out this time, but Mitchell's adrift. One hundred. We'll have double eighteen for the leg and to keep him alive when he returns. Forty-two. Scott, you get the you get the impression that he's just stealing himself for the next leg when he will have the Game dance. Shot for the third leg. Craig Caldwell. Now he'll steady himself, psych himself up, concentrate, take his time, and this is the moment where Mitchell can close out the match. Maybe could do with a treble. Sixty. Not there. A glimmer of an opportunity for Caldwell. Yeah, what's he got left? Has he got another magic leg left in him to take us to sudden death? 27. That's not a good moment to do that. The tension may be in both men. A bit unlucky, that one. Off the barrel. 41. Well, well, well. Forty-two. Nobody wants it. Or perhaps they just want it that little bit too much and a little bit of tension coming into the darts. That's better. It's just lying a little bit low in the bed, that first treble 20. 140. But he manages to squeeze another one in by the side. And inches closer. Here comes the response from Caldwell. One oh, the leg was a quad for long. Mitchell, two in. And a maximum for Mitchell. The only agency now for the match. Touch of hands. It's been a high standard match, this one. Twists and turns all the way. And Scott Mitchell now is poised for victory. 80. Scott, you require 80. Caldwell can't find a finish, so 20 and tops for Scott Mitchell and a place in round two. 40. Not this time. He will be back, though. Came close, didn't he? Caldwell, 172. All he can do is try and leave himself on a decent finish and then hope that Mitchell 
somehow wow. makes a mess of it. He's had three from nine on top. Scott, you require See what he can 40. do now. Takes aim at the top of the board. Two tens for the match. Yeah, there it is. Shot. There it is. And what and a the match. match. And what Scott a win. Scott Mitchell. For Scott Mitchell. My, my, he was tested. Well played. Craig Caldwell. But very well played. Scott Mitchell. Three to round two. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a brilliant match. Let's send the two players off the stage together. New Zealand's Craig Cornwell and the defending champion, still defending, Scotty Dog, Scott Mitchell! the course but that's what champions do he checked out more quickly than Usain Bolt in a celebrity edition of Supermarket Sweep Scott Mitchell through Craig Colwell though on his debut please please come back